We are working it today with Andy Challenger, Challenger Gray and Christmas. Hello to you, Andy. And Challenger Gray and Christmas is out with its nationwide survey and finding that more companies are laying off workers. What can you tell us about the details? Yeah, we are observing a noticeable increase in layoff announcements companies are making. In October, we saw the highest level of job cuts announced since February 2021, when the labor shortage in America really kicked in. We've been in this period of extreme low layoffs for almost two years now, and there's an indication in the numbers that we may be starting to come out of that, at least to something more like a normal labor market, potentially if we go into recession, even uh, the opposite of that, which is a more damaged labor market. We keep reporting about mass layoffs. Is this a major trend? I will say we're not tracking mass layoff activity increase in a dramatic way. We've seen some big announcements from tech companies, notably Twitter and Facebook, that have announced big cuts to their workforces. And we have seen tech overall was the area of the economy that announced the most layoffs over the course of October. That's not translating yet into wide scale layoffs across the country. Uh, layoffs in general still remain low as compared to past periods. Andy, what's your advice as Americans work to keep the peace while on the job in this highly charged political season? Yeah, around big elections, it's important to remember how valuable it is to stay apolitical in your workplace. We know that managers more and more are holding unconscious or even conscious bias around promotions and wages because of an employee's political beliefs. Uh, the best case is always to move forward, do your job, and try to not bring politics into the workplace when you can if you're working to move ahead. Andy, thank you so much for your commentary as always. Thanks for having me on, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.